Hey everyone, my name is Chiyu Smith from iHeartMommy.com. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a paleo healthy and keto friendly, also gluten free Thai larb. Let's get started. To make authentic Thai larb, you actually need toasted sticky rice to give that crunchy, a little nutty texture. But if you are looking for a gluten-free option, it's also paleo healthy friendly. Here, I'm gonna replace that with cashew nuts and these are little hemp seeds. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna blend them until they are finely chopped and I'm gonna toast them until golden delicious. So now I'm going to toast that this is cashew with hemp seeds. Just dry roast them a little bit until they are fragrant but not burned so you want to keep moving them around. After we dry roast them for about two to three minutes you can see they turn golden brown color. It smells delicious too. We're gonna turn off the heat. And we're gonna pound them. So this way we'll bring out even more beautiful oil from the nuts and seeds. If you don't have this, you can just use a coffee grinder. Now we're gonna season the meat a little bit. This is ground pork. You can also use chicken or beef. So I'm going to add about one tablespoon of lime juice. And then about one eighth teaspoon of white pepper. You can also use black pepper. And about half teaspoon of coarse salt. And just mix them well. Now I fry in the pork with some oil until they are completely cut through and also break up to finer pieces. Now when you cook midway through you will see there's a liquid coming out of your protein. So you have to just keep cooking them until the water evaporates. Okay, so no soggy ground meat here. Now about 10 minutes later you see the meat has broken up to much finer pieces and you don't see much water liquid in your skillet. Now this time we're gonna turn off the heat. And then, while the skin is still very hot, we're gonna add our chopped shallots. So, the, use the remaining of the heat to bring out more flavor of the shallots. Now we're going to start seasoning the meat. Here I have fish sauce. I also added a little bit coconut aminos. That's a little bit unusual because usually the Thai food will add a little bit, for example, maybe palm sugar to add a little bit sweetness. And I found that coconut aminos not only add a little extra umami, but also some natural sweet flavor. And then after that, I'm going to season with lime juice. I'm gonna start by half lime juice first, and later on we're gonna taste and to see if we want to add more. I can smell the beautiful aroma already. It smells so good. Now we're gonna add our more fragrant herbs. So here I have chopped the scallions, uh, cilantro, and also ming leaves. If you want, you can chop the ming leaves as well. They're kind of a little small ming leaves today, so I didn't chop them. So now I'm just gonna blend everything in. It looks gorgeous. It smells so fragrant here. So the last thing we're going to add is, if you want to add a little bit heat, this is Thai bird's eye chili pepper from this brand I got from Whole Foods. Um, if you can find that, you can also use just crushed red pepper instead. Or you can just completely skip that if you don't want any spicy food at all. So I'm going to add a little bit. And then remember the toasted nuts and also hemp seeds we did in the beginning so i'm just gonna generously maybe scoop one to two tablespoons or more if you like look at that i love that color it looks like a beautiful painting now we're gonna mix everything together and you know what this is the time you should taste test and maybe you want more lime juice maybe you want more fish sauce you know thai food is all about you know your your personal preferences so it's very customizable okay so just take my recipe as a base of a starting point and then after that you can adjust it to your personal preference i'm gonna add a little bit more lime juice I love that citrus flavor. And then since this is a more meat-based salad, so you want to serve with some crunchy vegetables on the side. Let's take a bite. It looks amazing. Look at that. Wow. Let's take a bite. 
Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is Zoe. Whenever I make something really yummy, she will come. It smells good, huh? It's so citrusy, a little bit spicy, and then savory, and then crunchy, and nutty. Delicious. Every single thing all in one bite, and you know it's super healthy and delicious too. So if you're watching this on Instagram, you can swipe up to get the recipe. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link in the description box below. My name is Chiu Smith from iHeartUmami.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.